Which vice is best, Regal or Renzetti? I want to catch a fish this time. Okay, so we get this question all the time. Um, Regal or Renzetti? In, in my opinion, these are two of the very top top of the line companies when it comes to vices. We've tied on them. They're they're excellent. So we're here to answer your question. Which of the two companies is best? And the quick answer is, we'll tell you in a second. But <laughs> what do you think, Lance? Well, I think they both have advantages and disadvantages. Uh, they both have features that are unique to each company. Uh, there's some great things about both of them. I like a lot that they're both U.S. made, Florida and Massachusetts. That's yeah, that's, that's cool. huge. Supporting yeah, absolutely. A, a U.S. companies, those are that's a good thing. Both lifetime warranties. Mm -hmm. uh, the companies stand behind their products, so that's definitely a plus. Um, I like the the smooth operation of both of them. They're in, in my opinion, if you're tying with a vice, you should be able to completely forget about your vice. And if you're having to readjust your hook, if it's slipping, if any of that's happening, then your vice has failed its purpose on this earth. Yeah. And that, that doesn't happen with either of, the, either of these brands. No, you're exactly right. We see customers almost every week that are complaining about their vice and how the hook no longer holds. It's slipping while they're tying. That's not tolerable. You got to get a good vice. Get a vice that's ready to hold the hook. Yeah, absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of run down uh, the, the general features of a Regal and the general features of a Renzetti. There are different lines, different uh, price ranges in each of the brands, but overall the, the hook clamping uh, function of these vices is relatively the same. Okay, so we're going to start with this uh, orange beast here. This is the Regal Revolution, and uh, this is kind of their entry into the rotary world where it has access to the rotary from behind the vise. Um, but uh, very, very nice jaw. This is kind of, or this is their flagship vise. I tied on it for about a solid year. Um, the, the Regal comes with a stainless jaw, which is pictured here, or the, the standard jaw, which, which is a little bit more of a blunt point. But overall, you know, a, a great vise. Yeah, awesome vice, very adjustable. You can adjust the, the tension on the rotary part of it so it will spin very freely or you could lock it down to where it stops at each position and you can just knock, lock it down to where it doesn't really spin at all. Uh, definitely a rotary vice, maybe not what I would consider true rotary in that the hook is not on the same axis as the, the shaft of the vice, so the hook won't rotate in a smooth fa fashion. So when you're gonna wrap materials through, Maybe not the favorite choice for that, but really easy to get hooks in and out with the spring-loaded jaw. And as Curtis was mentioning to us earlier, he really likes the ability to change the angle of the vise to free up all this space to tie in tails or, or you know, anything on the back end of a fly rather than running into the back of the vise with the hook at an angle like this. You've got a lot of open area to work with. Yeah, so, you know, with the Regal, obviously, like Lance said, it's really easy. You just basically open up the jaw and you put a hook in and it clamps it down. What I found is this stainless steel jaw holds anything from about a 28 to a size one, uh, like a Gamakatsu B10S size one. I and, and for anything bigger than that, I like to have their big game jaw. They also have, um, what's the other one? The shank jaw, it's mm -hmm. jaw for, for, for shanks. And if you change the jaw, you just you know undo this little uh, knob on the bottom change the jaw and you're back in business so that's the highest end regal uh, a few of the other models um, this is the medallion yeah right medallion so as you can see if you it still rotates but you have to grab the 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 head of the mm -hmm. vice yeah um, it's got a lot of reach i like that a lot but overall just kind of the same general design this little knob thinger is a material clip so don't tie with it like this, even though it looks like you have an alien robot R2-D2 eye looking at your fly. That's not what that's for. <laughs> it's supposed to be on the bottom, okay? And then there's the Traveler vise. So as you can see, just kind of a little squatchy vise. Squatchy, I don't know how this little and squatchy go together, <laughs> but it is a little vise, smaller pedestal, shorter, lighter weight, designed to travel. 
you know, where these are going to be heavier, a bit more stable. It's less expensive as well. It still rotates, doesn't have the access to the back like you're mentioning uh, with the Revolution. Yeah, and you can just take a normal medallion head and you can interchange that between these two vices. I've seen guys that will have one of these and then a traveler vice as well. So very cool, very functional vices. Uh, like I said, I tied on it for over a year, didn't miss a beat and uh, made my flies 34% better. <laughs> All right. In a so, nutshell, I think yeah. those, the, the key features to me at least on the Regals is the ease of getting hooks in and out. And then they have a really cool system as far as customization. You can customize the colors. You can get, as you mentioned, the different jaw types, the different jaw materials. They have a pretty modular system that's easily customizable and they offer lots of options. So that's kind of a cool feature. Yeah, the, the one thing we will tell you also is if you're setting a hook in your regal jaw, don't, don't think you got to put the hook uh, so close to the tip of the jaw. Um, you, you really don't need to keep your hook that far out. Make sure you seat your hook a little further back. With the way that the jaw is designed here, it, it can spit a hook out. And then also with the Renzetti, if you put a, a hook too close to the tip, um, it will damage your, your jaws. So don't be afraid to seat them back a little bit further um, to extend the life of your jaw. Yeah, mo both of these companies, if you're using them properly, they're really lifetime purchases. It's unlikely to really wear out either one of the jaws, assuming you're using them properly. If you're not using them properly, you could damage the jaws. Luckily, both companies make replacement jaws, so you're not totally out of luck. But, but uh, if you're careful and you use it the way you should, it should last you a lifetime. Okay, so this, it might might have been Lance's too, but the Renzetti Traveler was my first really good rotary vice. I had a Griffin Patriot cam was my first kind of quality uh, rotary vice for sure. This the Traveler was certainly in the next step up for me. And how long did you tie on your Traveler? I think I had my I still have my Traveler. My son ties on it now. I think I tied on it for mm, nearly 25 years. I think. Yeah. And so, I mean, and that's that's high volume of flies if if you know how much Lance ties, which is at least four flies a week. <laughs> at least. But anyway, what we have in the Renzetti series, we're going to put this back here and we're going to pull out the top of the line here, which is the Renzetti Master. There's actually one that's, that's a little more expensive that's a, a black coated Master. But anyway, the, the idea behind a Renzetti is that it's true rotary. Um, you have the, the rotary shaft, which is this part here. And if you followed that, you, you would eventually hit the hook shank here. So as you rotate the vise, your hook shank's going to stay relatively in, on that same axis. Now that being said, in my opinion, it's not super critical that, that your shank is exactly on that axis. As long as it's close, it's definitely tieable. So I've had the Renzetti Master for three years now, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's it's got a, a great jaw it's a cam style jaw it will literally hold any hook that I, I put in it so not not only that but it's super smooth um, but yeah I love my Renzetti yeah the Renzettis are awesome as you mentioned true rotary so the hook is in the same axis that's really nice when you're wrapping material lots of materials streamers uh, still water patterns that kind of stuff that's really really helpful uh, comes with the bob and cradle. That's kind of standard on all their rotary vices. It's an option on the Regals, but not a standard piece of equipment. Uh, the Master has their standard base that's uh, really large size, that very, very stable. And as you mentioned, just the fit and finish on this one's top quality. Lots of brass and stainless steel parts, where if you get into their Traveler series, now you're talking about more aluminum, you know, aluminum posts, a uh, little uh, lesser quality jaw material but still very high quality just not quite the holding power of the master yeah absolutely the other thing with the master is it, it's adjustable here on the neck so you really can dial that true rotary down it's got a little bit different tensioning device for your for your rotary so if you really wanted to lock it down you could with a little bit of a turn you can can loosen it back up the other thing is um, even though the the regal has you know it's really easy to put hooks in and take them out of the the regal um, the renzetti with with you know 
half a turn of the the knob you're going from a size 18 to a 2 aught hook so you really don't need a ton of tension on this jaw to get it to stick um, but uh, I mean it's really not going to take you that much more time so yeah. this is the master it's right around 700 or so dollars um, then we have we're just going to bring these all over here right now some of our top sellers we already looked at the traveler but we have whoa we're gonna hit the mic don't edit that out <laughs> so we have the presentation 4000 um, and the Renzetti saltwater traveler so um, the, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the 4000 then you can tell us why this is maybe one of our top sellers you got it. Um, but the Renzetti 4000 has a a much more polished body it, the neck st extends out a little bit further from the stem of the the vise it's got an upgraded base um, but very high-end uh, piece of equipment there for Renzetti yes perfect so then the salt water we get the salt water in a couple of varieties we get it with the standard base and with the the traveler base because you can get a salt water traveler as well yep. the salt water is i think most popular for us because it has the same size jaw as the master so it has a lot of hook holding power it uh, also gets just about as fine as any of their vices so it still ties really small flies it comes with the uh, material clip as does the master and the presentation where the travelers, you have to get that extra. It's not very expensive, but it's just a little add-on. Uh, so the stability of the base, the jaw, the material clip are all very handy. Otherwise, it has all the same functions. Again, not quite as nice as the presentation or the masters as far as you know brass parts, stainless steel parts. It's mostly aluminum. But for most tires, that really does the job. And it's uh, at a price point that, you know give or take 300 bucks for the larger base version that's pretty attractive for most most consumers yeah absolutely it's got this bigger knob on the back of it as well which I, I like I actually use this vice for my travel vice when I go to shows um, because I just don't want to clean off my master at home mm -hmm. um, but yeah I mean first world problem <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. the other thing to, to note and Lance already covered it is um, in in the advertising it states that this is best for a size 4 to about an 8 odd I think but we've done size 32 flies in this all the way to, um, I think I did some nine knot poppers one time on it. And it's a, it's a great vice, it holds really well. So there you go, rundown of Regal and Renzetti. So which one is best? Personal preference, like most high-end things, pretty hard to go wrong with either brand. Uh, as you mentioned, you know a lot of our guys have some of both. Uh, really fun to tie them on both brands, both vices, I don't think you can go wrong. Yeah, I, I agree with that. They're they're both phenomenal companies. Uh, they they stand behind their product. Your hooks aren't going to slip. So if people are arguing online, Ranzetti's better or Regal's better, usually it's because that's the one they bought. That's the <laughs> one they have, and that's totally fine. It's cool to feel that way about your vice, but the answer to the question, which vice is best, it's the one that you like. <laughs> Yeah, tie a fly on it, catch a fish, and that's, their, that's now your favorite. Yeah, should we apologize for the clickbait or not even care? No apologies necessary. No apologies, because now you know what we like. Indeed. Go tie, grab a new vice. If you have questions, hit us up, call the shop, send us a message. My name's Lance Egan. And I am... Uh, I can't even say it. I'm Squatchy B over here, also known as Cheech. Which vice is best? <laughs> Crack in my voice. <clears throat> Whichever Dicks. one you buy uh, after you finish puberty, that's the one that's best. Jeez. I promise I'm 15. This is the Renzetti Revolution. Keep Try that one more time. <laughs>